Today is March 4th, 2018, and this is your daily blog number 51. I uh, just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers that have joined my channel. I normally try to say this um, every couple hundred subscribers, but I just recently gained a meteoric rise. I mean, I was just at 100. I just want to say thank you again for all the new subscribers that have joined my channel, and hopefully I can keep continuing continuing to bring you guys good content and I enjoy for content that you guys enjoy. Please leave a comment and let me know how to steer my channel, okay? I love those comments. So before I continue, let me go ahead and say this. Opinions expressed in this video do not represent financial or investment advice. Please consult your financial advisor. All right, with that out of the way, now let's talk about Profit Trailer. Profit Trailer, I have changed my settings to low BB, and this is what ended up happening. 36 sales within the last 24 hours, and that's pretty damn good. And if you look at my majority of my sales, I'll explain what happened here in red. Um, actually, let me, let's go ahead and talk about the red first. Stop loss is at negative 2%. This is the first one that actually hit the stop loss trigger. These were set to panic sell because I had some glitches with the DCA, so I don't know if we should count it or not, but in the DCAs, uh, I had this pending order wait time and that was causing it to bug in the DCA, or not bug, but the DCA pair moved into the pending log. So it wasn't the outcome I was expecting, so that's my mistake. And if we look at the sale logs again, um, DCAs 1, 2, um, there's only a few of them, three DCAs. So I feel like I found a sweet spot for the buy at this time right now. And now I can really look into how I want to DCA on these pairs. But instead of doing that, I still want to keep my, I still want to keep a stop loss. However, this is what I'm trying to address now is I want to address when I hit a stop loss, why did that happen to me? Right? So PT Magic could definitely come in handy for me based upon the global trends when I bought that coin, maybe it was a bad time. However, something very simple, that simple metrics I could add associated with this, I already have it up, is I could say, hey, in the last 24 hours, if it's down by 10%, don't buy the coin, okay? Um, it, I don't know if that's a good choice, but for simplicity's sake, I've done that before. Uh, I could definitely add this coin into sort of the safety net, all right? Put 10%, any coin that goes on a 10%, put it on sale only mode. So that's about it in PT, and I'm pretty happy. I'm going to keep modifying my settings. I'll keep posting you guys my 24-hour results. Also, let me go ahead and showcase that I have also moved into AWS. Okay, so excuse me. I moved over to Linux on AWS in Tokyo. And for the latency, I really don't notice much of a uh, difference uh, personally. I've looked at some coins with extremely high vol uh, volume, like Tron. Actually, Tron's not even listed anymore. Uh, let's look at the highest volume coin. Uh, we, let's look at XR, uh, XRB, and I think Ripple is price. We could look here. It's eight seven four zero. It's not representing. Oh, it is. So it's. Uh, let's see if we can find something else. I guess it's pretty close, but it's still moving really relatively fast. And the pool method that Profit Trailer does is just not enough, right? And maybe there's some latency that it helps out with, so I'm happy with that. Maybe I need to go back to version 11, and maybe version 11 will pick up the information faster. Who knows? I still have it, so I could go ahead and try that version later down the road. So that's the end, uh, end of the video for today. Just want to give you guys a quick update. Please like, subscribe, and give me a comment down below what you guys think of low BB and 36 sales, guys. All right, thanks. Bye.